Recursion, you know, where a function calls itself to solve smaller instances of the same problem, is used in tree traversals, divide and conquer algorithms, backtracking problems, dynamic programming, and many more. But you know what? Recursion can lead to high memory usage and potentially a stack overflow error. Let's understand the problem. Every function call in a recursive process is added to the call stack as a stack frame. A stack frame is essentially the memory representation of a single function call in which the function's essential information is stored. If the recursion goes too deep, which means it has too many nested function calls, the call stack can run out of memory. So what's the solution? We can get through it by optimizing recursion. But how? Ever heard of memoization? Yup, that one. Memoization helps optimize recursion, especially when computing the Fibonacci series, factorial, solving knapsack problems, or finding the longest common subsequence. Let me explain it quickly. It's a manual cache system. It stores the results of previously computed recursive calls and reuses them to avoid redundant computations. Next, we can reduce recursion depth by using the divide and conquer approach. In problems like merge sort or binary search, recursion depth can be minimized by splitting the problem into balanced parts, hence resulting in reduced memory usage. Next up, we can use iterative deepening. It limits recursion depth and incrementally explores deeper levels. We can use this approach in algorithms like depth-first search in graph traversal, where recursion depth can be a concern. What if I say if we can avoid recursion then we should? Many recursive algorithms can be rewritten as iterative algorithms using loops. I mean, if we can solve the problem using iteration without compromising clarity, then what's stopping us? I mean, we can avoid call stacks and get better control over memory and performance. There are other optimization techniques like limiting recursion depth explicitly, optimizing base cases to avoid unnecessary recursive calls, and lazy evaluation can also be considered. I guess that's it. We can choose the right optimization technique to ensure that recursion is efficient. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to 2 Minutes Pi for more Python goodness.